Hey man, welcome back to Man Time. Today's episode, I have got the 3120 all fixed up. You saw there in that last video, it was having some issues. Actually, super simple, cheap fix, free fix. As a matter of fact, the uh, screen in the car was clogged up. If you missed that video, go back and check it out. But we're gonna try again, <laughs> but I'm prepared for struggle and failure. <laughs> welcome to Man Time. All right, well, today I want to try to get this log ready to be milled up. Uh, I've got a lot of the stuff kind of cut off of it where now it's just a straight chunk. Uh, I've got my my face cut in here. I need to get that lopped off to a, a square surface. So that way I know, you know, what type of uh, material I'm going to get off of this log. And I can measure and get consistent lengths all the way through as I'm, I'm milling this. I am planning on using this for the milling. Uh, I've got a big chainsaw mill, but you know everything else that's going on in life and you know around the homestead here it's just been a slow going trying to get this tree all cut up um, I think I figured it out uh, where I've got about six cords of firewood so far out of this one single tree so that gives you an idea and the you know entirety of the trunk is still remaining which I want to cut it you know into boards but uh, we'll see if the 3120 is going to act right today Hopefully it does, and uh, if not, we'll get it fixed up and, and try it again. But uh, let's cut through this. This is 60 inch around on the stump. Uh, I measured across there. I've got a 42 inch bar on it, full comp, full chisel. And uh, we're just gonna take off uh, an end piece here and then maybe come up and measure out. I've got, in the barn dough, I've got six foot wide windows, uh, six foot by three foot. So. Um, I want to try to get I want to try to get 12 foot six inch and then you know whatever's left of it boards uh, coming off the rest of the log here probably a majority of it is going to be like three quarter inch and used as trim around all those windows I think I've got 13 of those uh, well probably 10 of the six by threes and then three of like a, a three by three or something like that but let's go ahead and get the saw fired up and see if we can cut some wood today I don't want to try too many times with the choke on this one. It starts to get a little, a little upset. is why we are prepared for struggle and failure. That seemed like it was just dumping fuel in.
sweat. Can't see nothing. Oh boy. Well, I figured it out. Uh, it was just, uh, it was just a little too rich on that low jet. And uh, when I would come down off of, uh, off of full throttle, it would load up. And what, you know, gave it away was the black smoke kind of chugging out of the thing where it was, uh, where it was flooding out. But what I did there, I just took the air filter cover off air filter look down in there there was gas in there so um, yeah it was it was flooding out as it got down to idle speed so closed off that low jet about uh, let's see here just over a quarter turn and uh, started working perfect oh boy yes man glitter let's get some more holy smokes I'm trying to pull that saw over <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. I've got my tape measure set up. I know that I've got six foot window seals, six by threes. So I wanted to try to get uh, 12 and a half foot out of this um, so I could get two of those. But then realizing, like, how am I going to be able to move a 12 foot long, three quarter inch? And if I decide to cut bigger slabs, like 12 foot by three inch, there's just no way. Um, even sliding it off of here onto the tractor to then put onto a trailer is, uh, is a little bit of a chore. So what I ended up doing, I measured the whole length of it here. I've got 15 feet of clear wood until I start getting into the, you know, limbs of it there, which is gonna be a, a burly wood anyway, which I mean, I may mill up that too. I don't know yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that in half. So basically going um, seven and a half and seven and a half to get to get to 15. So that's what I've done here. 90 inches. I've got it marked right here. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut it 90 inches, and then at uh, 15 foot or just a little bit there over. Um, you know, before I start getting into this knotty stuff down here. So. Let's make a couple more cuts with the 3120. Oh, all right, 3120. Hopefully it's, uh, it hasn't cooled down too much. I can actually get it started here. Now that felt like it was kind of starving for gas. Ha, 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 ha. 
Be prepared. Oh, man, I wore the right shirt today, didn't I? <laughs> it, it appears that uh, the carb screen on that 3120 has clogged again or something. Um, it, you, were, you were seeing there, it was cutting fine. I went around to the other side to finish up the cut on the other side, came back around uh, and tried to get in the wood and it just died. Um, it, it started loading up on the low end again and then I, it was super hot. So that, that may have been what caused that saw's downfall. And I've seen that with other people where they uh, swap out the cylinder and then still end up cooking the saw. They cook it, and then they swap it out, and then they cook it again. Could be, um, could be bottom end, but it feels to me more like carb related, so I'm going to have to dig into it again. Maybe get a new carb for it. I just don't know. It's an old beat up tree service saw, so. Anyways, I am saved once again by the G660 Pro. Let's see if we can get through this. I finished up on the other side. Let's finish it up here. See what happens. Well, as much as I hate to say it, it's really nice having a good reliable saw. Uh, made wherever it's made, at this point I don't care, it got the job done.
<sighs> All right. Well, 